So this is the uh, Kingston SSD now, uh, V300, 120GB flavour, and um, sorry I was just using this, this little stand for uh, all our reviews now. It's a roll of tape, you can uh, buy it anywhere. There's an upcoming review on that as well. Anyway, the uh, Kingston SSD now, 120GB flavour, is it's actually a surprisingly good low-end SSD. Again, obviously from my last review I said that I'm not paid to say anything about this because obviously we haven't got any sponsors yet. Um, so this is coming up my own computer. So this is my honest review. I personally think this SSD is actually very nice. Uh, the read speeds are 450 megabytes per second. And the write speeds are up to, again, 450 megabytes per second. Uh, they can go from 60 gigabytes to 480 gigabytes so there's the V300, there's the KC380 which is an mSATA for any of you uh, using mSATA drives but that only goes up to 120 gigs there's a KC300 which is like a bit of a faster version of this so uh, uses standard connections, it's a uh, SATA power and SATA data cables so uh, you can whack it straight into your computer without no problem whatsoever. And hard drive cage. So, because uh, this is a cage hard drive bay from my own computer, you can like obviously it's a two and a half inch drive. You can just mount it right into the into the bit, and it'll uh, slide in just perfectly. I've got all the screws already, but um, they don't come with screws, so uh, it doesn't. It shouldn't really matter about my mounting because um, you can have it dangling out the side if you want, because there's no moving parts. So nothing should break at all whatsoever. Um, it's shockproof as well. Wouldn't try it though, because this is my main C drive, and I'll lose Windows if I lose this, all the data on this. So if you're looking for a HyperX 3K, I'd recommend getting that instead of this. But this is almost as high quality as that 3K, not quite as high quality, and. It's also still very, very rugged. So obviously this is only 120 gigs, you can get up to 480 gigs if you really want. Which are probably a bit expensive right now, but uh, we're having larger SSDs being released in the future. Uh, so this SSD will uh, boot into Windows in about 8 to 11 seconds, which is pretty fast. So if you want, I mean, it's a good standard consumer grade SSD you can do a lot with this thing I mean you can get anything bigger if you want to have it as like your only hard drive like for a, a replacement um, so this cost 60 pounds in the UK it's about what 65 70 dollars in the US I'm not sure how to convert it and I think that wrap, wraps it up if you have any questions like and dislike the video um, contact email will be in the description and uh, I think that wraps it up